there are a lot of people who want to say that they have faith. And yet I've been thinking about something. Galatians chapter 3 verse 11 says that the righteous man shall live by faith. It's not that we have faith so much as we live by it. You know, when we talk about works versus faith, we know that we're not saved by works. And when people think about works, they think about things that they're doing to try to uh, be right with God. The Bible says you can't do that. You have to have faith. You have to be a person of active faith in order to be saved. And that's true. But the word of God also says that you have to live by that faith. The righteous shall live by faith. So while faith is a trust in the God of the Bible, I have to live that faith out. It's very, very active. My faith will change everything. It's not that I say, well, I have faith. Here's, here's what I believe. Let me spell out all the points of what I believe. No, faith is something you live. The Holy Spirit illuminates the Bible. You come to know what God says, and you believe it to the point that it changes your reality and you're living it out. For instance, the word of God tells us that Jesus is the only way to be saved, the only way to have relationship with God. And yet the world is going to say that you can find any way you want to be at peace with whoever this God is. We know that's not true, but we can't just believe it. We have to live it. If we believe that Jesus is the only way and that everyone else is without God and without heaven, if they don't put their trust in Jesus, then me living that faith out will cause me to begin to talk about him to other people. It will cause me to have those difficult conversations where if somebody proposes that there is another way, I will come back and talk to them about how there is not. We have to live out our faith. The Bible says that either upon my death or the return of Jesus Christ, which could be at any time, I will answer to God and everything is going to change. If that's true, if I live out that belief, then it's going to change the way I spend my time because I know I have a limited amount of time in this life and that really what matters is eternity that this life is brief and eternity is forever. So living my faith will mean that I'm going to invest my time differently. If the Bible says that prayer is actual communication with the living God of the universe, then me living out my faith is going to cause me to spend time with him. It'll change things up. It's not that I waste my time doing so many things or allow all the distractions of a busy culture to take me away from God. No, I'm going to invest my time praying because I don't just know in my head that there is a God that I must seek. I am living out that belief by actually seeking him. So like how much time are we spending in God's word, in prayer? How much time are we spending talking about who Jesus is to us uh, in terms of other people in our lives? And I mean, the culture has gone mad with immorality, with totally wrong thinking about human identity and human sexuality and just everything. To live out our faith means that we understand what the Word of God says and we're able to have those conversations. We're able to love people enough to tell them the truth by not just knowing what is right up here, but living it out through our actions, through our words, through our honest love of people that makes us say, I care about you so much that I want you to be right with God. I want you to know what the truth is. Faith has to be lived. It's not just knowledge. You don't say, well, I'm not saved by works. I'm saved by the faith that I have in my head or I have in my heart. Yes, but it must be lived out. The righteous shall live by faith. You know, when we think of Noah and the historical reality of him building that ark, 
when God told him that he was supposed to build the ark, and when God said, I'm going to be flooding the world, no one had ever seen uh, rain like that before. No one had ever seen a flood before. And Noah must have appeared crazy to be building that giant ark. But when God told him all that, Noah didn't say, okay, I have faith. I have belief, Lord, that what you say is true. I believe that you want me to build an ark. I believe that you're going to flood the world. Uh, and, and let me just keep it at that. I, I'll believe it and I'll praise you and, and I'll tell other people I believe it. No, that's not what he did. He lived his belief out. You know, he got together his, his servants and his family and he picked up a hammer and a saw and he began building the ark. He began surely being made fun of. The Bible says he was a preacher of righteousness. He began telling others and doing what God told him to do. Because the fact is, if Noah would have not lived out that belief, he would have died in the flood along with everyone else. Proving that faith isn't just something mental. It's not just something you hold in your heart. Faith is something you live with every fiber of your being. You've got to believe in Jesus to the point that it changes your reality. If your life before Jesus and after Jesus looks pretty much the same, if your schedule's the same, if your activities are the same, if your passions are the same, if your level of morality is the same, then you don't really believe in Jesus. You're not living out faith. Real faith is active faith. The righteous, my friend, will live by faith.